So Nicholas begins to reporting happy Tuesday night to Shelby County Schools with the unopened letter to the President of the United States, which has not been opened for three months officially today. It's not good to hate public officials. And of course, I have been discriminated against not only in the corporate market here in Memphis, Tennessee, but of course, regarding on um, the political spectrum of things. You know, when I was the youngest Shelby County Unified School Board applicant in 2011, I was granted, you know, several jobs here and there in Memphis, Tennessee, but the discrimination at times still, you know, occurs on job. I've been interviewed several times, but I'm pleading to the, you know, international community and of course the Memphis business community that this stops in honor of this discrimination to teach Shelby County Schools the lesson that it's not good to discriminate. I want, you know, Shelby County School students, I think it's fine that they wear a rebel flag. Since it's discrimination time and everyone wants to discriminate, you know, why not put on a rebel flag and show your rebel pride? In fact, I even had a um, photograph and an autograph of Michelle Obama, and I call her a rebel flag girl. I hope she comes back down here to Memphis, Tennessee to clear all this stuff up. I truly admire Miss Obama being a diverse leader. I'm truly impacted by the Obama um, family. We all are. But why not show your rebel pride and Southern heritage as well? In fact, Miss Obama can wear a rebel flag, too, when she comes down here down south to Memphis, Tennessee. Thank you. Good night. May God bless America and God bless everyone. And of course, Princess Beatrice, this is your elected American boyfriend speaking, being an icon of Memphis. Let's bring more diversity here to Memphis, Tennessee. Thank you and good night.